A quick easy way to check to see if your radio is on frequency. I'm going to use a program called FL Digi. Let me load it up here. And FL Digi I have connected uh, my Yaesu ftdx 101 mp through the USB cable for cat control and also for audio interface. And I'm going to tune to the highest WWV frequency that I can hear. I'm going to spin my antenna over to WWV. And uh, let's go here to, let's see, let's see if we can hear 20 megahertz. And I can. There's WWV at 20 megahertz. We're on sideband. We're going to tune off by one kilohertz. Okay, that's one kilohertz off. We can hear the one kilohertz beat note. And just to make things a little more clear, clear um, I'm going to set my roofing filter down because all I want to do is hear the one kilohertz beat note. So I'm at 300 kilo, or 300 hertz uh, roofing filter. Now I have to offset the shift 500 hertz. So I have the so I center my band pass on the one kilohertz beat note. So all I hear is the one kilohertz beat note. If we look over here at FL Digi, we can see um, on the waterfall display, this is the one kilohertz tone from the one kilohertz beat note right here. And then, um, let's see here, I'm on the frequency measurement test uh, function or op mode. And this allows you to set a, for the sound card to measure a frequency and, and, and very accurately. So we're going to set this. This is set to one kilohertz for unknown. Now it's going to start charting and plotting and averaging the one kilohertz beat note. And we can see here, take, uh, best to do this over a couple minutes, but we can see here that the receiver is giving a beat note that is, this is plus or minus 0.5, scale 0.5 hertz. So this is 0.1 hertz low, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 hertz low. And this is a direct readout, but the average right here is what's uh, on this plot, what's uh, interesting. So I can tell real quick here that my receive frequency is pretty much dead on. So at 20 megahertz being off 0 0.1, 0 0.2 hertz is nothing. Now, the reason I use the highest frequency for WWV is... Um, if your reference oscillator is a 10 megahertz reference oscillator and you're off by one hertz, by the time you tune your receiver to 20 megahertz, you'll be off two hertz. So the highest frequency you go, the greatest error you're going to see. So at 20 megahertz calibrating your radio, you'll be, if you're off 0.2 hertz, you'll be off 0.1 hertz at 10 megahertz and 0.5 hertz at 5 megahertz and so forth. So this is just an easy way of doing a quick sanity check of your receiver.